we're going to discuss doing our first print on the Maker Select 3D printers. When we walk into the machine, we need to do a visual inspection of it first, making sure one, that it's on, so there's a switch back here in the back that will turn it on, and two, that this bar right here is parallel to the bed. If it's not, there's either an issue with one of the stepper motors not acting correctly or one of them being disconnected. The step to correct that is we're going to tighten down all these bolts, so take the bed down as far as we possibly can, all four positions, and then we're going to use something that has a consistent height to check to make sure that the left side is at the same height as our right side, and we can physically move that to that height with the machine off. That's going to be a minimal step, so we'll probably have to do that one out of every 30 prints. The more common thing is going to be that we're going to have to change filament and level our bed. And so let's go over those two processes. For the filament, we're going to go down into Tools. We're going to select Filament, and we're going to select either Load or Unload the filament. Once I click that, it will go in through a process where it heats up the machine up to 200 degrees Celsius, and we will either push this down and pull up or push this down and push down if we're adding new filament uh, when it gets up to that 200 degrees. We already have our, our pink filament in there and so we're going to continue on and just sort of back away from that. Our next step is going to be to uh, level our bed. So to do that I'm going to go into system, I'm going to home the machine and what that means is it's going to go down and hit all these little limit switches and make it to where the machine is in its origin or its zero, zero, zero spot. And that allows us also to know that uh, the machine's not gonna do anything crazy on us. Once it gets there, we're going to have to level it at all four corners. And so we can move this with our hand and we can sit there and take this card and just slide it underneath. And we're gonna turn this knob back and forth, trying to get it to where it just sort of grabs the card just a little bit. We're going to then move to the next corner, do the same thing, okay. move forward, do the same thing, do the same thing on the back, and then we're going to do that another time. I, I leveled this bed before this video started, and so you do want to go around and level it another time, because when I'm adjusting this one, um, it might affect the far one, and just doing it two times will make it more level. So once I have that, I'm going to click back here and I'm going to grab my SD card. Now I've saved my G code onto this file um, and so all I have to do is set it in over here. There we go. And select print. And then I'm going to select the file that I want to print. Typically the newest file is going to be up on top. And once we're there, it's going to start executing the G code that we've sent to the machine. And so it says that my bed temperature is going to be at 60 degrees Celsius. And so we're going to wait for that process to get all the way up to 60 degrees before it moves on to the next process. Once we have that, our end effector or our hot end will need to get up to the amount that we set that and then it will start moving the machine. You are able to pause the print if you want to like switch out filaments here and there. Um, it ends up working sometimes really well and it ends up a lot of times sort of messing up the print and then setting continue, and then we can also stop our print here. Once it's running, it's highly important to make sure that nothing bumps the bed because it's not gonna know where it is in reference if you do that. And so sort of step back from the machine, let it go, and we'll take it off in a little bit. So when your print starts, it's gonna rehome the machine and then go down and actually start. It's kind of nice to pull this extra flex out just to sort of make it work out well. And our biggest issue is making sure that the first layer adheres well. There's a couple different things you can do. This is a built tack surface and so it's made to sort of grab that filament a little bit. Um, you can also take and put glue on it or hairspray. Uh, don't do that unless anyone like prescribes you to or if you're having other issues. So we're going to get down there and take a look and see what makes a good layer. So this first layer looks pretty good on the fact that it's not peeling up in any way. Uh, it looks like it's sort of smushing into there. Uh, sometimes when the layer is bad, you'll see little wires come up. Uh, that's an issue. 
And you'll notice it also speed sped up rather drastically when we start our second layer. Now that the print is done, we're going to go through the process of removing the print from the bed. To do this, we're going to use a paint scraper, and we're going to sort of pry underneath the part to lift it up. There's a couple ways that we can make mistakes with this. One is we can use the tip of the scraper and sort of gouge into the bed, and that would ruin the print surface. The other way would be to put our hand behind it and then push forward, because this will give way, and this might come down and hit me in the hand. And so we're going to put our hand to the side here and set this down and slightly work back and forth. And I'm going to have to put a pretty decent amount of force on it to get it to release up. And so there we go. So it's a little bit of a, a lift, but we now have our print. We've got, we can see on our back that we have a pretty good smooth surface. And so that'll, that'll work. Good.